I don't have to measure because I'm a trained professional. Yeah. <laughs> Make everybody today we'll be doing hoop art with Nick from Wasting Time. Wasting Time. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's go through the supplies. I'm gonna trace mine just from the piece of paper here. Oh, that's and a good idea. This. Since we're using a thin enough fabric. Right, we're using thin enough fabric that we can totally do that. So cut about an inch around. Inch around. Okay. Even though you'll probably end up cutting it closer. So you're just freehanding this bad boy? Yeah, I'm just freehanding the ears right now. They don't need to be perfect. Um, you know, they just need to look like little cat ears. Um, she has her fabric already hooped up. That's fine. That's great. Um, you just have to be really gentle. So she's tracing out her beautiful little cat face, which will be available for you to download on the website. You start start on the outside of your fabric, where not on your canvas. Okay. So you can just feel how little... the how it flows. Oh, see, <laughs> just like that. Farted all over <laughs> your canvas. You want to do a fairly thick continuous line. Okay. So like that. Probably. Yeah, and okay. then because you don't want to get holidays where your paint mm -hmm. will travel for the next step. Okay. So just do. And it doesn't matter where I start. Doesn't matter where you start. Okay. Just don't start there. <laughs> <laughs> hooped it, I've tightened it a little so I can still pull my fabric through and I kind of, I see where my design is and I want to keep it pretty centered. Just going to go ahead and give it a smooth out. A smooth out. These, I keep my little nibs in here so I don't lose them. And they snap onto these. I like these um, because I have old lady carpal tunnel hands. I like these because they squeeze so much easier. Now, I don't like to be restricted by color, so I'm gonna choose every color that's available to me, all of them. Um, and now I just go ahead and brush this on. It's watercolor rules. If you need watercolor tutorials, let me know. I'll do a watercolor tutorial for you. Okay, so we've got a knot at the end of our thread. Yes, so about an half an inch to an inch and um, we are just going to do a running stitch. We know what running stitch is because we did it okay. before. And what I love about this is it doesn't need to be perfect at all. It just needs to gather the fabric together and lay down. Alrighty everybody, thank you for watching. Goodbye!